jazz right here. Ooh. I have to get surgery. Layla got in a little incident. Puppies sadly didn't make it. I'm back. Hey, what's up? My two times spicy sauce just fell all over me. Hey, what's up, kings and queens? It's your girl, Queen Beast, back with another video for you, 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 and you guys. And I am so excited because today we're doing a seven time spicy mega prom challenge one bite edition y'all i hope you guys are excited because i am sure enough excited i miss y'all i miss y'all a lot so let's get started into this mega prom challenge so since it's two times spicy i also have to level up we're doing a lot with this challenge here but i'm gonna just go ahead and take a bite first of a couple things before i go ahead and start adding on some hot sauce so Mega Prawns, two times spicy edition. Ooh, my arm is itchy from this hot sauce. My luck. Ooh, that was so good. Mm. Ooh. That was tasty. It's been a while. Okay. Let's take a bite of them. See, you see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking You see what I'm talking about, bro? I've been trying to do this video all day, bro. When I'm not trying to do videos, nobody bothers me. Nobody calls me, nobody. Let's take this one bite. <clears throat> Hold on, that's like, I spoke too early. Let's take this one bite. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Y'all, I haven't had seafood in so long. In so long. I haven't done a mukbang in so long. In so long. Such a refresher. <clears throat> the last official mukbang where I did a family mukbang with my family, that was literally recorded in May, y'all. But you guys got it after the fact. Hold up, be clean. Mm -mm -mm. So I got these nachos from Moe's. It was leftover, so I just said, let me just slab it on here because I really wanted the tostonas, which is the fried plantains, aka bun and pizze. I didn't um, get the chance to make it or buy plantains at home. All right, so let's talk about this challenge. So basically what we got to do with this challenge is take a mega prawn, eat it in one bite, but I got to. Dip suck, obviously, as, as usual. And I have to put one of these hot sauces from mouth to the hottest on the hot sauce and eat it in one bite with all the other things as well. So, we got seven sauces, first mega prawns. We're gonna hit it up with a uh, mild, honey, hot. Mike's hot honey. This is the extreme version, which is really, really tasty. So we're gonna go ahead and... Mm. Oh my God. I haven't had it so long. This is buzzing. <laughs> this is so good, y'all. The butter sauce, and let's just pour this jazz right here. Ooh, ooh. Bon appetit. One bite it, let's go. Mm. This honey hot right here, the extra hot version with a nice butter sauce. This thing tastes so good, so, so good. I'm here to try it. I'm telling y'all, try it. What should we got? try next? I'm gonna try a potato. Next round, a big, potato let's do it with the the sauce y'all if you know you know it has a little hint of truffle if you like truffle you'll like this if you don't like truffle don't even bother we're gonna go ahead and pour that jazz oh wait butter sauce we almost forgot butter sauce it is yeah next one this one is a big one Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. He knows. <laughs> the truffle with potatoes, y'all. Fries, wings, potato. It's busting. We're hitting with this sauce. And I'm gonna try to do, to do this the entire time without any water. This fresh. Update, I'm still trying to lose weight. The crazy thing is, y'all, I gained about 30 pounds since the last time y'all seen me doing a mukbang. 
and that's just because of stress in general from what's been happening last year this year so far has been good we did have a little hiccups but very briefly Layla got in a little incident she got hurt a little bit on her side of her face um, from an accident in the kitchen with her and Juju um by accident 100% accident um, but it's healing perfectly fine now Eli He's been doing good. He's been progressing. I can't wait to have him do a mukbang for you guys. He's talking way more. Like, I'm talking about sentences. Like, very minimal sentences. I'm so proud of him. He's very smart. But, yo, he is a certified mama's boy. Certified mama's boy. Best believe he's following me all over the house. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know or have seen him on the other channel. But Juju now wears glasses um, now, um, which is kind of odd. I'm not sure why he um, got glasses. It just happens though, but neither me and my husband have glasses when we were young. Neither did our parents, so he still looks very handsome with them too. Juju's handsome boy. So he's wearing glasses, so that's a new update from the last time you guys seen him. He's doing good as well. Both him and Layla are also doing good at homeschooling as well. Next, my husband. He's um he's doing good too. He's working super hard. Obviously editing, um, coming up with ideas for the other videos and other channels. He's doing good too. He's trying to do um this new diet thing that he's he got going on. I tried it like for a week. I couldn't do it. It was too too strict, too hard. But I'm gonna try try to do it every once in a while. It's basically where you um, go on a fruit diet for God knows how long he's gonna do it for. But for me, I'll just do it probably in increments, maybe for one week, every two months or something like that. I'll do I'll do that because it is good for you to do that. It's like a detox. The next hot sauce is going to be. Da, da, da. If you know, you know. This is this scotch bonnet. This is a Jamaican scotch bonnet sauce, actually. It's really good, I really love it. I really like it. It has a really good flavor to it, too. It has that Caribbean flavor. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pour that sauce like this. And my mouth is hot, but it's still bearable. Oh my God, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I probably should've took the smaller one. Let me see, should I? I haven't done this in like forever. <laughs> One, two, three, let's go. Mm. That's good, but I probably should have had that sausage, y'all, with the Mike's hot honey, y'all. That would have been busting. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this corn. Of course, I can't eat this in one bite. Like, this is not part of it. The corn wasn't, the corn was supposed to be for decorations, y'all. But I'm greedy, so I'ma eat it. <clears throat> Cleanse this right here. With this. <coughs> Kinda spicy. <laughs> what are the updates I got for you? Butter. Like I was saying, butter, she's doing actually really good from the video that um, I basically said that she got a C-section. Um, the puppies sadly didn't make it. Not our faults at all. I blame it 100% on the vets. Not just one vet, multiple vets. I would drop down there, the hospitals and the, 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 the vets locations, but I'm not in the business of ruining people's business and lives, so that's just not me, their livelihoods. But I would say the South Florida vets are trash. Like, they're trash. One, the doctors took too long to start the surgery. Two, they informed me to not get the surgery done when I wanted to at first, and they told me not to go back home with her. Three, they were supposed to measure the puppies and they said the measurements were up to par, but when I asked for the reports and all her files back, because I did that, I'm, I'm gonna be a Karen if y'all wanna know. <laughs> I'll be a Karen for stuff like that. When it comes to medical, I don't play. But 
um, I asked for my the, the reports and all of that and then when you see the whole x-ray and everything that they did you can tell they only measured one puppy they have they did their job halfway they didn't do it and then we still end up paying which is ridiculous but South Florida vets are trash if you do have I don't know if anyone else have pets in South Florida or watch this and they live in South Florida and then they've ever experience i don't know just it, it's just bad in, in hell but she's doing better now she's emotionally better 100 percent. she was down for like a good five days i could say and then we just gave her some extra tender love and care and then now she's good um coco is actually good as well which is our uh, um, other new puppy and she is doing fabulous she is a ball of energy um she is a joy and i i, I don't know i'm just happy now when it comes to the dogs and stuff butter as well she's a ball of energy as well so they're doing great and they're thriving and thank god for that as she is now healthy she don't have low sugar anymore so she made it through and she's still healthy and alive so just for those who was wondering how she's doing how was her how was her puppies and what was the outcome of it that was the outcome unfortunately unfortunately one of the puppies got stuck because of yeah what i've just mentioned but that's butter that's cocoa um, my update, like I said, that I gained 30 pounds. I'm trying to lose it now. It's been a struggle, y'all. It's like it's harder. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to the next bite. We're going to do an egg, and this time around, we're going to do this sauce, y'all. This is the Tabasco Scorpion Sauce. This, to me, is not as spicy as it was at first, but since I haven't really done any spicy challenge in a while, my spice tolerance might not be the same, but I dipped it. I didn't dip a little bit, as you guys can see. This is a lot, you see? This is a lot. And we're gonna go ahead and take a bite. And one bite. <laughs> That's spicy, but I love it. <laughs> That's crazy. That right there? Actually has a good taste to it. I like it. I'm gonna go to the next sauce. We're going to the spicy bulldog. Y'all tell me how to pronounce this. I never know how to pronounce it. That's why I just say two time, one time. I don't got time for the pronounce it. <laughs> y'all tell me how to pronounce it, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do a mega prawns, y'all, with this one. Here we go. Mm. I'm sorry, I just love doing that. Just the flavors when you do it, but I'm just, it tastes so good, y'all. So good. So, so, so good. Add this sauce to it. Woo! It tastes good, but that butter sauce, two times spicy sauce. You got it. Okay, we're doing, we're gonna do it. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> I have to get surgery. I definitely have to get surgery. Reason being is because I used to play basketball when I was younger. During one of the off seasons when I was playing basketball, I got injured. I tore one of my ligaments in my knee. Um, the torn ligament that I got, they said that I wouldn't be able to play basketball anymore. However, with therapy, I can live a normal life. So, being that we didn't grow up financially good in that sense my parents didn't really get me surgery or nothing like that instead i just got therapy and i was fairly good i was all right but being the lover of basketball that i am i still played basketball but not in a team i just still played like a hobby i love basketball i still love it to this day I just know I just can't do what I used to do anymore because of my knee. I re-injured it. Again, as I grew older, still playing, doing, being dumb, re-injured it. Now, I started working out. I was, I mean, I was going in in the gym, y'all. I was going in. I started seeing, I started seeing a two-pack. You know, I got a flat pack right now, but I started seeing a two-pack, y'all. And then I was like, yo, hold up. Let me get my sexy bag, right? <laughs> and then 
in the midst of me recording a video, I was recording my son, Juju. And then I took a step back and y'all, as soon as I took that step back, it's like my leg just went out. Like luckily I didn't fall near, a, I was close to a table, but luckily I didn't hit my head or anything like that. But instantly I just, bloop, I heard a clop and then my knee literally popped out of the socket. It hurt so bad, y'all. I was like, mommy, mommy, help. It hurt so bad. You know, YouTube University, y'all. Y'all know you could find anything. That if you search on YouTube, you could find anything. So I went on YouTube eventually after the swelling and everything and found a video on how to pop my knee back. <laughs> y'all, this video saved my life. And it wasn't even painful. It saved my life, y'all. And long story short, that's why I gotta get surgery, y'all. Because I just can't be walking back or exercising and my knee just go out like that. That's very dangerous, first of all. So I don't know when I'm gonna schedule that surgery. Yeah, that's like anesthesia, all of that scares me. All of that scares me just because complications and then even if after the surgery you good, something else might happen, like, I don't know. Just know if I, if when I do get that surgery, I gotta go down to like at least 160 cause I know I'm, I won't be walking for a while. So I'll be gaining weight. So at least if I gain like a good 20 pounds, I won't be that big <laughs> from then. So I gotta be down at like 160. I'm gonna be a stick y'all. Cause my height at 160, I'll be very slim. Currently I'm 205, 205 y'all, 205. Yes I am. So let's do this. I'm gonna go to the next sauce. Which is actually the last one, y'all. This one is very spicy. I'm not looking forward to it. Wait, is it the last one? No, I gotta do the two times spicy sauce. Y'all already know. Two times spicy sauce. We gonna be generous with it. Cause y'all be saying out, people don't be putting that much on the sauce. And it'll probably take me out too. <laughs> We did it. When I do mukbangs, it's like I'm motivated to off camera to work out. I'm motivated to get on the ball, like eat healthy off camera, all that stuff. When I'm not doing mukbangs, that's when I have them crazy craving. As you guys can tell, I was not doing mukbangs and I'm at 205. When I was doing mukbangs, I lost so much pounds. Because I'm doing this, I kind of know that I gotta not just eat on camera but i have to take care of myself off camera and i encourage everybody anyone that does do mukbangs don't just be doing this and then off camera you're eating really bad it's not good this it's not good it's not good at all you gotta you gotta have a balance like for example like a day like this if i do this i will work out it probably most likely would be my only meal and then the following day i'll do a detox that's when I'm consistently doing it. When y'all see I'm consistently doing mug moms, that's most likely what I'm doing. So y'all, yeah, for those who ask, how you do mug moms and you don't gain that much weight? I gain weight when I'm not doing it because I'm greedy. <laughs> the cravings, I need something now to get my cravings. And then what I was going through, food became like a, a comfort zone. I literally, after the last pregnancy, I was like, when I'm down, I was like, man, forget this. I don't feel like doing nothing. I'ma just order something to eat. I'ma just eat this. I'ma just make me this to eat. Cause there's specific hormones that get released when you eat something that's enjoyable. It makes you feel good. Food is food is bae. So it makes me feel good. So I kinda was like that. And then once I caught it, I kinda knew what it was, but I, I just didn't care, to be honest. I was at that place where I just was like, I don't give a damn. I was legit there. And as you can see, I'm, I still don't really, <laughs> this might sound bad, I still don't really, I'm still not like, oh my gosh, 200 pounds, wow. I'm still not like extremely like, oh my God, I, I did the most, I need to, I'm still not there yet. But I am knowledgeable that I need to stop before I do. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all the truth, basically on how I'm feeling. But all in all, emotionally I'm good. Uh, mentally I'm good. I'm motivated, way motivated. 
um, been posting on TikTok a little more. Been coming up with new content for um. This is so good, y'all. Yeah, probably like she eating cheese chips. Like it's it's so good with the pickles. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm supposed to be doing the last sauce. Let me stop. This right here is hell. That is hell. I honestly don't want to do this one. The last time I did this, I, w I did regret it. It's called regret. I did regret it. I sure did. Once I do this, this video is most likely going to be done with. Whatever I was talking about, we're going to talk about it another time. Because <laughs> this right here, this is no joke. I got to test my tolerance because I haven't done this in a good minute. And I'm surprised I got through these sauces. So scared right now. <sighs> Child, let me take this cucumber to the side. Put this butter sauce on the side right here because it will ruin the sauce. Too spicy, y'all. This is legit a regret, y'all. Don't try this at home. Do not try this at home. We're going to marinate it and spread that sauce all over. Golly, why am I doing this again? Why am I doing this? One, two, three, cheers. <sighs> Queen bees, let's go. I think we ain't done yet. I try that at home y'all i told y'all after that that right there this video is basically done because i need to drink something this is hot and it starts rising and rising and rising as i speak right now i'm starting to sweat my heart rate is being elevated my saliva is forming more and my ears is getting hot i got this sparkling water i don't know why did i choose sparkling water like an idiot but yeah, I'm gonna drink this. Um, we're gonna end this video right here. And I'm surprised I'm still talking because my tongue is starting to burn. But I was gonna end this video with, we love you, you're perfect, you're beautiful. Peace, don't try this at home.